Okay, are we all ready to start? There are um, some post-its being passed out right now, and you will, I will tell you in a minute what we're going to do with those. So it was, um, good morning. <laughs> it was very exciting to me to see that some ideas were starting to bubble up in the, um, both in the inner and the outer circle this morning. And now we're going to try to, and also um, using maybe some of the stuff you have written when we were uh, all reflected silently, we're going to try to um, actionalize some of these things. So. We're going to shift gear from, uh, I guess, talking about all of this stuff and, and try to see if there's anything we can um, put into practice. Uh, we talked a lot about change, and um, I was reminded in talking to Rob yesterday that the first step in making change is actually taking a step, right? If we just think about it, it doesn't happen. So we have to be brave enough to take a step and see whether that step works or not, and there's another step to be taken after that. So we're going to all together try to take a series of first steps. Um, I'm going to give you the overall frame of uh, how we're going to work this afternoon and tomorrow first, and then I'm going to tell you what we're going to do specifically now. So the frame this afternoon and tomorrow, we're, go we're going to have um, three sessions where you're going to work in small groups. Um, that we're going to form and where you'll have a chance also to change groups so you're not locked to any one group. And we are going to uh, brainstorm and develop some ideas and see how far we can take them. So this is an opportunity to work in collaboration. Um, again, to try to push ideas that we can only uh, work on together. That's something that you can do by yourself and to see where we, where we can get. So. Um, I really encourage you to um, to put some stuff out there, to be generous, and to um, try to uh, take advantage of the power that's in the room. The first uh, working session, so after lunch, uh, we're going to establish, so we're going to develop ideas and establish the why, who, where, and what of these specific ideas, and we'll come back to to that um, for each session and explain it more in detail, but I want to give you an overview. Um, and then after, the, after we do that, the short groups will report to the big group. Then we're going to do a, a second session where we will focus on the ideas we have developed uh, further and talk about the when and how, and we'll also do a report. And then on Sunday, um, we're going to do, again, another session with these small groups where we try to strategize how to move forward with this idea and then make some commitments to ourselves and to each other. So before we do all of this, I would like to do a brainstorm together um, to see what we can surface that we may be able to work on uh, this afternoon and tomorrow. And um, there are three things to keep in mind. One is um, we talked uh, yesterday about spheres of influence. Um, and I think the four spheres were personal, the field, the community, and civic. And of course, there is value in working at any of the, on any of these levels, but maybe just um, to think for yourself where you feel the most comfortable, where you feel you have the most influence, or what you're most passionate into um, addressing in all of these fields. Uh, the second thing is, um, it's, we don't have to reinvent the wheel, right? If we're compelled to do so, we can, definitely. But sometimes we can do a big change, like we can affect a big change down the line by changing a little thing here. So we can think big, but we can also think like, what is this small shift that I need to make that will give me, that will get me to that direction in instead of that direction? Um, the third thing I've already said, it was to make a change, we need to take one step. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, so. We are, um, with the post-its that you have, we are going, I'm going to ask you to think about the three conversations that we've had, to think about what we just talked about, the things that have surfaced, and how could we put some of these things, what are some ideas to put some of these things into action? And I'm going to use, um, 
It was Annalisa who said, uh, you know, what if we got the American theater to divest from fossil fuels? Like, that's one concrete idea, right? So I'm, I'm, I would ask you, I'm going to try, we're going to try together to surface as many ideas as possible. So we're not going to judge them or um, discuss them in terms of are they good or not right now. We're just going to try to generate them. And I'm going to ask you to write them down, only one idea per post-it. But you can write as many ideas as you want, but one per post-it. And when you have an idea, to write it down on your piece of paper, come to the board, put it up on the board, and then just say briefly what it is. And um, if, if, you, if the rest of the group has any questions, you can ask, for, just for clarification, right? Not to um, judge whether the idea will work or not, but just for clarification, you can ask questions. And we're going to go like that until we have a bunch of ideas on the wall, on the board, and until we can start maybe see uh, particular di directions to see if some ideas can be clumped together and uh, there are certain topics that emerge. Um, what else do I have to say? Oh, yeah. We are going to... Two things, we're going to work, this has been said a number of times uh, this weekend, we're going to work from a place of abundance and with the assumption that we have everything we need in this room, right? Thinking about the people we have right now, who is here, I mean, of course it will um, expand and we can call on other people afterwards, but just meaning, um, uh, I don't want to be prescriptive, but... Let's assume that everything we can come up with, we can realize for now. And then we can, you know, later on we can start to edit ourselves, but let's just start with the, the most uh, generous, gen generative possible scenario. So, um, if you have ideas, <laughs> please write them down and then uh, we'll just, you know, come as you're ready. Just put it on the board, say briefly what it is, and we can just keep going like that and see what happens. Yeah. And there's a there's a microphone there if you want to say briefly. Come to Miami in December during Art Basel and let's create a sea level rise performance together as a way of starting our collaboration at my studio garden and theater. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Okay, this is um, not that new or innovative, but if you've heard of Kilowatt Smackdown, I believe it's nationwide, but at Emory, um, there is a group that's really strong, works with local businesses to do evaluations on their energy uses and gives them information on things that they can do. Um, and so it's all free, and so of course people are like, oh wait, I can make these changes and you know, it'll save me money, they love that. So uh, to get Kilowatt Smackdown to do an inventory on uh, theater companies locally. Also, as we go along, if you feel like um, your idea is maybe somehow related to one that's already there, try to clump them together, right? I'm struck by a desire to uh, experience some of the fabulous work that I know all of you are creating already. Um, I'd love to propose a global, digital, radically accessible living archive of work created through a climate lens. Um, <laughs> Along those lines um, I, uh, of what Robert just described, um, invent a model that supports or, or creates a method for recycling plays. Um, in other words, it can exist in one community and then be brought to another community by um, using either the same resources that were used to create it in the first place or find some sustainable way to create bare bones productions and also address the the concentration of opportunities to see theater and help spread that to areas where that isn't as possible. Thank you. 
Yes, adding on to both of these and bringing in what we talked about yesterday, um, a digital or otherwise resource hub for measuring impact. Uh, giving slash giving away power, money, space, and resources to the front line most impacted to create their own vision, creative expressions, and solutions. And then connected to that, centering and connecting the U.S. South to the global South through co-creation, co-production, collaboration, and visioning. I think it's very important to be organizing meetings like that in another land. So I'm inviting everybody to, to, to a meeting in Brazil. And I think it's very important that we have a discussion in another place in, with another language, with another kind of people. On that note, I am interested in an inquiry-generated dramatic theater that might be verbatim theater-inspired um, that could have um, a couple of communities represented, but with the aim of engaging intersectional issues of environmental racism and justice and eradicating ignorance. So, for example, could there be productions generated by what questions the audience has of a community beyond their immediate experience, but in which they have to engage their own complicity? One of the um, challenges I have in doing this work is I don't get to do it all the time because um, there's all this other stuff to do. Um, and so I think uh, some friends and I have been throwing around an idea and I don't know what the noun is. It's like institute or collective, but it's a place to go where you can drop in and drop out and be constantly involved in the engine of problem solving um, around this issue. And I, I, I somewhere that's not totally in nature and not totally urban and a place that's easy to get to. Um, because I think if we don't have our collective brains focused on it 24 seven, then we're not gonna get where we need to go. You're talking about a physical place. Yeah? I'm ta yes, I'm talking about a physical place where you, you could, and it would be, I think, a place for conversation and thinking and problem solving in a sort of, in a, um, much like we're doing here, but it could also be a place from which projects could spring um, when the moment becomes right, which I assume the moment would be right very quickly. This is quite related to Allison's idea with a slight twist. Um, a sus creating a sustainable values in story, collective, virtual and or local, like it could form locally from different people who are located, you know, dispersed. That includes a workshop experimenting with and studying various creative narrative strategies and developing projects out of that and includes project team building to um, put, you know, uh, develop and, and perform and uh, produce those projects. This is kind of New York centric, but it's necessary. It's a uh, like a reusable theater collective, think of a startup like an app for designers to go and say, these are the things I need and have this startup of magic people collect things from the trash and from all the waste that is in New York City to source them with um, eco-friendly or reusable materials so they can furnish their place with things that already exist.
I feel compelled to just comment that if, if this were a group of physicists, this board would look nothing like this. <laughs> Organized. It would be aligned. <laughs> straight, right angles, everything. Um, I like to work from a distributed model uh, rather than centralized, and this is very centralized uh, and um, very effective. But to create chapters of this group uh, in every state, in every country, in every region, um, and maybe stepping one step forward, how do we do that? When we leave here, each of us can create a chapter uh, where we've come from and where we've been. I actually have two, but I have, um, but they'll be quick. Um, one is a nationally subsidized dramaturg uh, SWAT team that would go, that would be deployed and could go around to different places in the country where extraordinary theatrical productions are being created to assist with the shaping of it um, in various ways. Uh, the second thing would be a play development process that would go from a kind of incubation lab, an art science sustainability boot camp sort of model um, with urban planners and others that could be in Boulder, Colorado, for example, um, and then would go to different universities for uh, additional um, work on the plays, uh, maybe to the um, to your kingdom, maybe to Allison's um, Oregon Shakespeare Festival, then of course to theaters all around the country, Broadway, YouTube, and Science on a Sphere, which is a globe that um, uh, is in 150 almost science centers around the world um, reaching an audience of 33 million people annually. Thank you. So somewhat based on that old time religion, um, a performance art traveling tent revival that connects with local artists and include testimonies from people who have experienced environmental racism and injustice, um, and that there would be even like an altar call to action sort of thing for people to commit their lives to this work. I'd like to help build on Cheryl's idea um, by by developing some kind of curriculum by which universities that have departments that are devoted to science and to policy and the arts, but the right arm is not talking to the left arm, help them, uh, support them to create innovative works that are transdisciplinary and just write out a plan that they can follow or, you know, not and be inspired by. I want to build off what uh, Jailisa already said about redistributing resources. And um, uh, I was working on a project with a, a, commu a, sorry, a community created project in the Lower East Side where one of the participants told me, you know, I want to come and do this work where we're uh, envisioning the future together through creative practice, but I don't have a stove right now. My stove is broken and I'm, I'm, I'm uh, dealing with that. So part of our project um, budget went to her getting a new stove. And I was wondering if we can uh, try to all do that uh, budget for nourishing people as a necessary part of creating art. Uh, when we write grants, those of us who write grants and ask for money from the powers that be. Um, and I, the other thing is that, uh, <laughs> uh, so I, we have a solar, light grid of LED lights that we take around to different sit venues in New York City and demand that um, we put them on their roofs when we do a show. And um, I, we can, I would love to share that or share that technology. And I'm wondering if there's anything that other people have too in terms of uh, in the world of design technology to share with each other that we can kind of pool. You can create a new clump if you don't see anything that's related. Oh. 
Um, so the first thing I want to um, uh, do is do a Klimakazi surf camp and trash dive. And this is in the spirit of getting in the body and getting, and, and getting out into, um, I would say, wild spaces, Mother Ocean. And um, it can be, artists can do it, trees can do it, cats can do it. <laughs> so um, yeah, that's like um, joy, fun. Um, and then I would love to do a Klamakazi network of the Americas, which includes touring um, consortiums and also commissioning for new works that's transnational and uh, multilingual. So that's like uh, facilitating north-south um, on the American continent. I'm not sure where this will all go. And then the last thing is this idea of mentor um, ship and leadership, which is which is a actually a term that comes from a national performance network program. And um, Elena, this is something that I think I felt like you were um, pointing to yesterday. This idea of sharing, um, being uh, peer learning, um, and that within this group we can learn a lot from one another in really specific pairings. Two. Um, this, is, this is very similar to, or oh, I, I want to add this to Allison's, uh, a center, create a center uh, for ecospheric consciousness and multi-species justice. And uh, I would love to locate that in, at NYU. Would somebody write something down for me? Just because I don't have the uh, paper. Okay, um, Julie's Bicycle this year in the fall is doing a season for change where they're asking um, arts organization in the UK to do an event related to climate change and you want to make it a three year program, right? Yeah, so could we um, help Julie's Bicycle maybe in 2019 or 2020 make an international season for change where we all participate and we all ask 10 people in our um, network to participate too? Um, one other thing I had was um, uh, invite you to join me in creating a performance to uh, go with uh, our current, the Dear Climate installation currently at Storm King Art Center, which takes the form of a, a United Nations style set of flags in which, called General Assembly, in which instead of a seat for every nation, there's a seat for every species. Putting my divest thing up here. <laughs> Yay! Um, um, but I also just want to name the Jubilee. And uh, someone from HowlRound, can you tell? I don't actually know what the new language is about it, but the general idea, Jamie, can you can you explain it? The, I think the general idea is that in it's season 2020. Yeah, 2019, it's season 2020, 2020 2021. The general yeah. idea is, is that um, it was sort of it began with this radical, radical provocation. What if every theater in the U.S. produced only plays by people of color and women and other traditionally marginalized voices? And originally, it was very much like make a pledge, 100% commit or nothing. And now it's become a little bit more inclusive of um, asking institutions to identify where they're at with their current practice and identify how they want to move along a spectrum and state that intention publicly um, with the idea that, you know, we're having a lot of these conversations again and again, and, um, you know, wanting to try to m make a sort of national campaign to uh, move the needle. And that's in 2020, 2021. There's a new website in development um, that will launch August 1st, I believe, where it'll have like all the latest, but we can also circulate some links um, from HowlRound that has like the original sort of manifesto and pledge. Um, the Jubilee was another one of the HowlRound challenge convenings. Um, thank you for naming that. I name it because if the climate people are not talking about racial justice in that way, like concrete actions in the American theater, then I, we're not doing it right.
I have another invitation and a place to maybe house your um, curriculum development, but please join us in George, at Georgetown University and um, digitally or in person to try to help work at the intersection of politics and performance and really empower the next generation of policy leaders in our School of Foreign Service to think in this prismatic sort of way that climate is in everything and everything is in climate. So please come. Uh, on the lines of resource sharing and distributing that out, the Transgender Justice Funding Project is an extraordinary group that is run by trans people, um, and they really look at the intersectionality of all these different issues that affect trans people, particularly trans people of color, you know, housing, immigration, police brutality and all, and maybe to talk to them about um, setting up a specific grant around performance arts um, for trans folks who are looking for monies for that. And what's great about them is you don't have to be a nonprofit to get money from, from them. We have about five more minutes, so if you have some burning ideas, now is the time to bring them forward. <laughs> and you can line up before behind the microphone if you want. Uh, there are two ideas. One is to collaborate across languages and theater traditions to create some kind of uh, an archive of climate, lan climate lens, dramaturgy, and design. Uh, the second is to collaborate to create a non-verbal, non-anthropic performance, which essentially performs kinds of silence. So um, I just put up under the um, Global South and the U.S. South the uh, Marshallese Educational Initiative and uh, just opening a discussion about um, Pacific Islander representation um, and uh, conversations that are going on about uh, links between domestic violence and uh, disposability disposability of and erasures of indigenous populations and how that maps on to different uh, violent modalities and if there's any way to kind of like think vulnerability and theatricality because I've been hearing a lot about a kind of um, openness that's being generated here and so I think those conversations, I don't really have the words but like I think those conversations might be important in terms of the work that's being done in domestic violence issues. So I want to organize um, or produce a series of residency projects that's featuring or practicing sustainable lifestyle, including food, very important, um, and co collect stories and voices, um, artist design, public presentations. Um, and this, I want it to be uh, cross-cultural and equitable and handmade from scratch. Um, so like food we are talking about is, for example, miso. Um, so, you know, soybeans very inexpensive and it's actually a little bit labor intensive, but everyone can make it. It sh shouldn't be just a fancy food or, or you know, spice for um, uh, rich foodies. It should be for everyone because it's healthy detox radiation too. Thank you. Um, so I have two suggestions that are um, contradictory. Um, so the first one is I'm struck by um, people have talked a little bit about um, initiatives that might be anchored in universities and I have become increasingly conscious over the last couple of years of the ways that um, we let universities not be radical places. Um, and so just trying to think about how that's a place where I can actually exercise some influence. Um, I was thinking about um, convening people who teach at the university level to simultaneously teach classes that are in dialogue with each other and then convening those classes and using that as a way to bring more people into conversations to create interdisciplinary and cross-university cross and cross-regional collaborations. Um, and then those students kind of go out into the world and do what they're gonna do. Um, the second thought that I had was, as I've been listening to people's suggestions, including the one I just gave, um, a lot of them are very institutional, and they're very much about like creating something that then exists um, and has like a kind of permanence. Um, 
And so I've just been trying to, and it's not a really well-formed idea, but I just want more. I said what I wrote was develop instant performance modules, but I just want this way to like, how do we actually just make this bigger and make this not about like getting our next paycheck or, you know, like writing the next grant or whatever, but just like, how do we actually start changing the stories that people tell on the streets? Um, my suggestion is to create an environmental action plan for yourself that would articulate your vision, think about who that you need to work with, how it integrates with your, um, your, your activity plan, and then if you're in a position thinking about what you're purchasing, whether it's paper, energy, um, then who you're communicating and how you're engaging, um, who do you need to partner with, what projects on sustainability do you want to integrate? What understanding do you need to build with energy, water, waste, and management? And then how are you going to share your action plans so that you can in be informed and learn year on year? And then the, the second one is to become a creative climate leader, which is a um, training program that Julie's Bicycle runs internationally for creative professionals to develop deeper um, and be part of a network of fellows to support their journey on sustainability. Thank you. So we're going we're to hear from you three briefly, and then we have to move on to the next section. Okay. Um, um, to building kinesthetic awareness through practices of embodiment towards understanding individual habits and patterns of thinking and perspective. That's what we could share. Thank you. Miyaza? I have two points. One is uh, we, we can develop a collaborative play in which we all our voices uh, are included. Uh, we can have uh, one big story. Uh, we can write, you know, uh, a play on climate change, which virtually and uh, it, it can be accessible for for the wide world. Uh, the other is a collaboration action, action needed. Uh, we have to think outside of our region and continent uh, if, uh, because the issue is big and global. Xavier? Great. So my, my first one was to develop a, a platform to convene different artistic disciplines, right? My goal here is how do we get each other to work together. Uh, my second one could go in Allison's center, and that is um, it's to develop a best practices model on a way of engaging traditional theater audiences after each performance. So just create a model that each of us implements uh, ba based on our best practices and then share that. So one requires for us to come together, the other one we don't necessarily have to be in one place. So I'm gonna put this under the Institute Collective Center as a well. Thank you, these are all amazing ideas. Um, do we have uh, markers? Jamie, yeah. Can I get two people to help me? Maybe um, Elizabeth and uh, where's Roberta? Oh, yeah, okay. Um, I'm going to repeat some of the things that I heard as uh, big headings, and then we can see if all of the ideas um, fit under those. So I heard, um, and if you just want to, Elizabeth and Roberta, like write the heading on a, one piece of paper and put it on the other board. So I heard um, definitely a center. I heard um, university initiatives, curriculum, um, like several things that fell under university. I heard uh, sustainability, as in uh, sustainable practices, the, uh, Lydia's kilowatt, um, Catherine, and uh, the um, uh, Annalisa's, um, I guess that would fall under sustainability, the, di the divesting. Um, I heard uh, stuff around performance. So performance creation, uh, performance uh, best practices, uh, dramaturgy, performance that move uh, from one place to another. Okay, hold on a second, go back one. 
performance. So before the divesting, um, so I think I, might, I feel like I missed something. Oh, sustainability? Sustainability. Okay. And that was... Sustainability, I meant the really the practical, you know, counting kilowatts, um, stuff that has, yeah. No, I, I'm, I'm putting that in the different category than the performance itself. Um, but we, yeah, we can make that a performance. I also heard um, maybe that's, that's another kind of sustainability, but... Uh, Money for nourishing people, uh, moving money towards frontline communities, uh, like embracing the people who are usually left out of um, power structures. Also under sustainability, I would put um, Lani's uh, maybe sh sharing, that was you sharing technology? Yeah, with the solar, yeah. Um, another one was convening, uh, which was convening in another country, uh, creating chapters of this convening. Um, So how many do we have now? One, two, three, four, five, six. Right. So, okay, now we have the center, university, divesting and sustainability can do together, convenings, performances. We're missing the... Um, Moving money towards, uh, okay. yeah, Redistribution. yeah, Resources. yeah, focus on social justice. Okay. What was it? The kilowatts? Does anyone, uh, did anyone put up an idea that doesn't seem to fall on the, under any of these categories yet? And raise your hand and we'll hand you a mic. I see, uh, Grisha is back here first and then Marta. Oh, just the building kinesthetic awareness, that, that practice, embodiment practice. Practices. Okay, do you, feel, do you feel that should be separate from performance? Yeah. Okay. It's not performed. Okay. It's, a act, it's, a, it's an activity. Learn, okay. Um, can we add that to building kinesthetic awareness? Is that, am I right? Okay. Emba okay, embodiment practices. Also, for the connecting with Global South to US South is not about convenings. Yes. About yeah, thank you. I forgot about that. Um, That's, I'm just saying that was misplaced. Okay. Chantal, someone said something about evaluation, too, I think. And I don't know that there's. Okay, hold on just a second. Sure. I think if maybe if people had an idea and you feel like it's not in the right place or you, or it needs a new place, can I just offer to ask folks to uh, articulate which one you're talking about specifically and then name what you want the category to be, so we can call it. Sorry, can you? Yeah, she said it twice. It still hasn't been written up about resourcing the front lines. Yeah, we'll get to it. She, they're just catching up with us. So I'm gonna. Okay. Finalizing this idea of um, uh, global south um, or inner transnational. I'm, I'm not sure if that's the same thing for everybody. Um, and then I wonder if it would benefit, and tell me if I'm wrong, for, for performance to have performance process and practice so that there's Two you different know, ones, you mean? No, performance slash process oh. slash practice so that it captures just something that is being lived in. Okay. Um. Elizabeth, yeah. can you add with performance, can you add um, slash practice? Um. 
performance slash practice. Yep. And I think slash process. Oh, process. Process. And so then uh, we wanted the global north south as a separate category. Um, from the, should should I just get rid of this and make just make a convenings page and then the one convening yes in a separate category the global north south. Okay. Does anybody else feel like their idea is not represented under these headings? Yes. Okay. So getting rid of the divesting initiatives and putting it under redistrib redistribution. Yes. And under sustainability, I would like it's very important to to push also social justice. Yes. So, Annalisa, you wanted to straight to basically put this under redistribution. Yes, was that what you were asking for? Yeah. Okay. Then I'm going to reassign this paper for a different. Um, under Elizabeth, under sustainability, can you add social justice? Yeah, because for me, the redistribution of resources is about social justice. Give It's like, I, I don't feel super comfortable with, at least if those are my, like that's the social justice thing. It's like flipping things on their head. Resources is part of it, but so is power, so is access, so is privilege, so is space, so, is, so divestment I do think is part of that. So I would just, the word, I don't know what, how to say those words, but that one right there includes a whole bunch of things about transformative, kind of just transition within the space of resources, people, place. And so the global south to the US Gulf South or the US South actually is also in there, not about global south north. Well, it's for, for me, because I was the one who wrote the connecting the US for, for that one, for the US South to the global south specifically. So, okay, um, let's just hold on just a second about um, putting things under other categories. First, I just want to make sure that everybody's ideas is represented. Yeah. I'm going to put this here so, to make sure I have that up here. Okay. Marta? Someone just said something about evaluation. I don't know where that was. Oh, okay. Um, which was different than university? Was that different than university? Okay, so uh, can we have one that's uh, evaluation slash impact? Jaisha, did you feel there was something missing? I mean, I just, I'm just saying the Gulf South, I just one specific post-it, I would like that one to go there. So the one that I wrote that said the connecting the U.S. South to the global South, that one for me is actually about redistribution, quote unquote, of resources or social justice. It's not, yeah, that one. one. Yeah, thank you. Just transition. Goes under the one on the left. Yeah, that one. Thank you. No, one next to it. Hey, Chantal. This one. Thank you. Who's talking to me? I, I am. Yeah. Um, I, guess, I guess I have a question about, and I'm not trying to dismantle the, the exercise or anything because I know how maddening that can be, but, I, but it, there must be, what I, what I think, what I'm missing from this conversation is that if, any of those things operates without social justice, then we're not doing it right, right? And so I guess I'm interested in activities, but I'm also interested in values mm -hmm. that we collectively commit to that underlie all of our efforts. And so to see social justice as a separate thing as opposed to the whole thing makes my heart hurt. So yeah, let me explain what I'm trying to do is um, ultimately we, we are going to divide into a maximum of six groups. So I am trying to group some of the, I, these ideas per theme so groups can congregate about 
around a topic and then decide what they want to move forward. So social justice can, can actually be part of every group, of course, but the, I guess uh, we're um, identifying the dominant theme to see what we, con we can congregate around. So you can congregate around you know, creating a center of an institute that has very much uh, social justice as its um, underlying principle, but uh, that, will, that will be, the, I guess, the dominating idea. Does that make sense? Um, it does. I, do, I, I would love us to, at some moment, have a, have a conversation about values. Uh, we will awesome. uh, in, in the small groups, and then we will bring that to the big group. So every idea has been represented. Cheryl? I feel like convenings got lost somewhere. Does it, are people feeling like that's not being represented? Or Yeah, convenings was lost. <laughs> okay, now what we need to do next is identify, some of them can be combined, or we need to identify six or less that we would be excited in working on. Um, and the reason for six is to have a, you know, a significant number of people in one group, but also because we have six note takers who can help us keep track of what's going on in the six different groups. Um, I'm trying to think how to do that. We could... Uh, yes. You know what, I think maybe, I think um, one way to do this is we could um, put these pieces of paper down on the floor at different places and you can congregate towards the one you feel most compelled to work on and then we can see if there are things that we could um, combine. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes, yes, yeah. definitely. Yeah. So let's take yeah. two minutes. You can see where the ideas are. You can move them to a different heading if you want to, and then we'll, we'll come back and we'll decide which group um, is going to work on what. And could I also offer that if you, in your gallery walk, um, I don't know if I was a, a loyal scribe, so please feel free to grab a marker and edit as, as needed.
Okay, get a chance to look. such an organized I, I do this yeah actually that one I just moved Okay, guys, so all the ideas are on the floor. We're asking you, you're committing to one hour right now, right? So what, what's the idea you would like to work on for the next hour? Um, just congregate towards, towards the one you're interested in, and then uh, let's see what happens, and let's see if we need to combine anything. I think we can say, let's yeah. see like how many bubble up, and we'll make it work. If there's more than six, we'll make it work. We can, no, we, we can be creative, to actively right? use every single, to make the working groups feel, if you will, with every single idea Post that was given. Yes, exactly. yes. Okay. Right. And not to cut any out. And then okay, okay, okay. the working group yeah. decides yeah. which ones we want to use. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Yeah. OK, so what does it look like? Can we? Can you guys um, congregate in a way where we can see a little bit the distinction between the groups? Um, just don't, don't yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, guys. 
Can I have your attention for a second? So I know it's hard. I know some of you are interested in more than one ideas, but we have to choose just for the, um, the purpose of, of uh, gathering into, into smaller groups. Um, and then, uh, you, as I said, you're committing to an hour, right? Because at, at every step of the way, you'll be able to change group, re, um, like uh, get put two groups together, separate. Like this is not a final form, but it's just a starting point. So, as a starting point, which one of these ideas would you like to work on? So. No, no, I'm just asking. So right now, I'm trying to figure out. We have one, two, three. Is that right? We have three main groups. OK. In the group that you're in, um, hold on, Roberta. <laughs> so look at the, the other ideas that were left out. Do you feel like some of them are part of your group somehow? Do you feel like you would like to integrate them? You can move it in, yeah. There is a. Okay, are we in some kind of final formation? Is everybody good? Great. So we have three little post-its yet left. Collaborative action needed outside of region. Does that fit into? OK. Solar light grid that travels or share that technology, does that fit into any group you're already in? Yeah. Winners. The last one is collaborating across languages and traditions to create a something that has to do with dramaturgy and design. A climate lens dramaturgy and design. There you go. Yay! <laughs> Okay, we have three groups. Look at who you're with. Um, we are going to, are we about to break for lunch? Yes, so the uh, idea is that right now we're gonna ask you to actually make uh, small group circles with the folks in this group that you've just formed for lunch. We don't have any assignment for lunch except to like get to know your fellow group members more and hang out. Um, we're a little bit behind schedule, but that's fine. We aren't going to steal back all the time from lunch, though. Um, we're going to basically, let's see, it's 12.40 right now. So uh, so we're going to do lunch until 1.30, um, and then we'll be back together for the first like official group work activity. But we do ask that right now if you can reconstitute the room into circles for each of the groups, uh, so we know kind of who's where moving forward. That'd be great. Yes, and we'll give you the assignment after lunch. Okay. Yes, with chairs like in two circles. Yeah, you can be out you in the can, lobby. Yeah. We'll just have to like the report backs will all happen in here, but there's no reason you can't work in the lobby. No, we aren't recording the small group work. No. Great. Okay. <laughs> So we are at lunch. <laughs>